I think if anybody's listening, they might most, if they were to recognize you, Connor, they'd recognize you from probably uh, being the person who mixes the live performances at the Asbury Park Brewery. Would you say that's I would, accurate? I would say that is accurate, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you, I mean... I'm sure you've got some great stories, just of like some fun memories oh. of working oh there, gosh. some scary <laughs> memories, many, yeah. some horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, could you, all right, maybe without naming names, could you tell us your a horror story and then like cap it off with like the best thing ever? Um, Is that too much to ask? No, no, no. <laughs> I, there are definitely a few choices for both of those, so I'll narrow it down <laughs> really quick in my head. So... <laughs> You share more than one. Dude, I have, like, at least five in the gutter column. Dude, so, okay, I'll, I'll tell probably the most famous one amongst, like, people around that also, okay. like, is pretty, pretty great. So, and I will name names because everybody will be happy if I name names. Um, <laughs> so there was this band, they were called Rotten UK, and we all thought that they were a British band that were that was playing, but they were not British. They just like had this weird way of like pretending like they were British. They were from Rochester. Um, <laughs> so they show up and they, whatever, like they looked a little off, but it was like, you know, it's like a hardcore show. So like everyone's kind of like a little weird and that's kind of the magic of it. So they go on. Oh no. So another band is playing and while the other band is playing, one of the people from this band decide that they're going to pee, like urinate, into a bucket on the side of the brewery, but inside, like where they brew the beer. Yeah. So that's obviously like a super big no-no, right? I mean, this is like a facility where things are manufactured and produced. And yeah, for people who don't know, the brewery is an, an actual brewery. Right. <laughs> Inside is a bar, and they just so happen to let people play shows. Yeah, so this guy peed in a bucket. And we didn't know what to do. Like, me and this is me and Judith, who is the taproom manager. Like, we kind of, like, run the shows. Um, so she's like, I don't know what to like to do. So we like obviously are like, dude, what the hell? Like you just pissed in a bucket. Like this is not cool. And he like didn't even want to clean it up. He's like, oh, are you guys gonna take care of that? We're like, no. Jesus. Like, in any other circumstance, like if he did that anywhere else, like the police would have been called. Like, yeah. Because you can't just like how did you can't just like pee in public. That's just like not something that you can do. How did word get to you guys that he peed? Someone told us. Like, someone in another band was like, dude, I think there's pee in a bucket. So then, like, someone else was like, oh, it just, like, it got to us. However it did. Yeah. So Judy's like, do we let them play? I was like, I don't know. But long story short, I was like, I don't want to let them play. Like, this is so disrespectful, like, to the venue, mm -hmm. to the people working. Like, it's just super disrespectful. I don't think they should play. She was like, whatever, let them play. So they go on. And then we call, we, we text the owner of the brewery, and we're like, hey, this happened. He comes down in a rage and, like, shuts the show down immediately. Like, cursing them out over the microphone, like, turns the lights off, turns the music off. So they're obviously super unhappy, and they start, like, destroying the gear on the stage of the brewery. Um... Like your gear, like right not now. no, like, like it was it was stuff. one of the other band's gear. Like they backlined for the oh, night. Oh Jesus! Yeah, so that band then runs onto the stage and a huge brawl breaks out, like a what? huge dude, and it moves to the parking lot and like literally looked like a scene out of fucking Fight Club, like <laughs> it was so crazy. Like looking back on it, it was crazy, but like to be real, when it happened, like it was scary, like yeah. it was not like something that you wanted to be a part of because like. Mm -hmm. it was like grown men fighting like it, which was it was just so uncool but yeah it was wild that's that's probably the craziest night that's ever happened there <laughs> oh my god dude hardcore shows are another <laughs> thing man they don't hold back at those things was that a hardcore oh, show oh yeah big time that's what yeah dude, they fight like i'm they, surprised nobody poured the bucket on the guy <laughs> yeah i know yeah it was it was crazy <laughs> Um, but to answer the second half of your question, 
the best the good stuff the yeah. good stuff dude so i've mixed so many bands that i'm like huge fans of there for sure um, i can imagine like Oso oh Oso oh played there which was amazing um we opened there and you <laughs> did that was a great show dude foxing like foxing is one of my all-time favorite bands and like i got to well, let's let's sorry i don't want to i don't want to talk over you but let's talk about didn't you get to play with them yeah. Not really, but yes. Like, so, <laughs> Foxing does this thing at the end of a lot of their shows. I've seen them live a few times. At every show I've seen, at least, their lead guitar player, or not their lead, but one of their guitar players gives his guitar to the crowd, and, like, people just kind of, like, like hit it and, like, jam on it or whatever, like, during their last song. Super cool, and, like, I don't know why he's throwing his, like, American Stratocaster out into a crowd, but he does. Um... <laughs> Anyway, I'm watching the show from, like, the side. Dude, I keep getting a call, and I keep ignoring it. Um, I'm watching the show from, like, the side of the brewery, like, where you can open that little, like, door to go out to, like, the driveway. And it's the last song, and he just, like, points to me. Obviously, I, like, got to know them before the show. Yeah. He just, like, points to me, and I'm like, huh? And then he points to his guitar, and I'm still like, what? And then he just, like, before I know it, he, like, puts his guitar over my neck. So I start, like, playing his guitar over the last song, which was so cool. And, but here's the crazy thing. I'm starting to play. I'm like, this is not how I remember a guitar sounding. So I'm playing, and then eventually I find it. And then after the show, he comes up to me, he's like, Hey, sorry, man. That was in a bizarre tuning. I was like, yeah, I figured that out pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> it looked, it didn't sound cool. When it it sounded so <laughs> terrible. I can't imagine what it sounded like to the crowd. I literally just started playing random notes. I had no idea what the song's key was. Like, <laughs> but regardless, it was really cool and made for a very cool picture. Yeah, I loved it. I was so stoked for you. Yeah, you can find that photo on my Instagram, Connor Hansen underscore. <laughs>